Dan over there. Dan, Dan, Dan. Can y'all hear me? Am I too loud? I won't go into detail, but 
My sons and I have a peculiar sense of humor. We have a dog and a cat at home, and we all seem to know what those animals are thinking, so we try to speak for the animals and sometimes in a scary way, and we use them as ventriloquist puppets. There's a few things I already miss. Justin had some really peculiar mannerisms growing up. He, he was a little bit stubborn then, too. He didn't want to walk or talk until later on. But he communicated in other ways. There were some things that I named these little mannerisms. One was called his jabby hand. He would sit at the table and just jab his hand. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> kind of like Schroeder on uh, Charlie Brown's Christmas where he played the piano. <laughs> When you got him happy, then he did a twirly hand. The little bonk bonk would start going twirling, just twirling all over. You get the little scrub on stage, like I'm happy now. And as soon as he wasn't happy, dunk, 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 dunk. And then he had what I call the pointy hand. If he ever it seemed like he wanted to redirect people's attention, he'd suddenly go. He did that for months. We never understood, we just thought he was trying to redirect our attention. Then one day outside, he pulled his little pointy finger, and I said, I have to look. I said to my brother Randy, look up there. And then off in the distance was a dot so small, not a satellite in space, and it was traveling along. Oh, we thought that was a freak occurrence. <laughs> A couple days later, did the same thing, his little pointy hand. I draw a line with two points, and there's an itty bitty little hummingbird three miles out there. <laughs> so it turns out he wasn't trying to misdirect anybody's attention, he just like pointed at distant objects. <laughs> <laughs> that you stick on the edge of a table, or car seats, or high chairs, you set them down in there, and you get this big smirk on his face, and do this little baby <laughs> thing with his butt cheeks. It was, it was really comical. Now, when you set him down on the table, and then go to get diapers, or whatever you had to do at the time, what the heck? There a kid just about wicked butted himself off the table, and break him back up and Set it back down and what the heck, and kept doing that over and over. So finally, you get him in that little seat that hangs on the end there, and he wiggy butted himself right off the table. <laughs> now, you know how kids are when something happens like that? They sit there and wait, and if you laugh at them, they'll think it's funny, and if you go, oh, that's too bad, and then they start crying. So, we wondered where he went. We did hear the sound, the loud sound, and looked, well, there he is. And we, Pam and I both looked and thought, this looks serious, but and before we could, he just went, Explains a lot, doesn't it? Another event that happened with the little table seat thing. You've probably seen this on America's Funniest Videos. We wanted this to happen, and we waited for months for the opportunity. He was really tired one night. Sat him in the little chair, made a big plate of mashed potatoes.
First of all, I gotta tell you, he's kind of a sewer when it comes to ice cream. <laughs> Loves it. When he saw that, right away I knew what he was thinking. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So I took a spoonful of bean dip and stuck it in his mouth. <laughs> He's got this big and he goes, hmm, clean. <laughs> oh, I fed him half that glob of clean dip before he realized, hmm, that's not keen. <laughs> One of the cutest memories ever. Pam and I are in the grocery store. Justin's in the grocery cart. He pulls this sticker off from one of the Chiquita bananas, <coughs> sticks it on his nose, looks up with this super big grin. <coughs> Booger. <laughs> Gummy worms. 
Is that for real? Now, you're all aware that Justin and Amber love coffee. So I thought I'd leave a couple of coffee cups out too. And as you may have guessed, they like it really strong. <laughs> Now, getting back to the okay, thank you. Getting back to the wrap, the packaging material. Justin needed a lamp for his desk, so here's a lampshade that's made out of bubble wrap. These are root beer bottles. He is also kind of a store when it comes to root beer. The only thing that's not accurate here is. There should be about a half inch, maybe a half a swallow of liquor left in the bottom. <laughs> so but he's, he's got to always leave that last little squeak. And one final feature on this, I turned this on and I broke the switch. So it will always remain on just like Justin likes the lights in the house. It will always remain on. Now, Amber, Here you go. I don't have any jokes about you I do. yet, <laughs> but I couldn't help but picking up this one for you, which is a nice little pink one, and I thought it was so cute. So, if you need one on your desk, you got one too. <laughs> and then my final object here. Justin is not real tidy with his laundry. And if you were to go in his room, you'd find quite a collection up there. I thought when we were at their house, they didn't really have a very good footstool. So a while back, I just went into his house with a machete and I just chopped a square chunk of it out for him. So. But in reality, very proud of my son. He's come a long way in life. He's a real professional with his photography, and he's chosen a real professional girl. 